back. So I had a great question come in. Some of our teachers are trying to use Google Sites, which is awesome. And they're wondering how they can get their buttons to look better. So you'll notice that when you click on the button, it is a gray button, pretty generic, not really a lot of fun. And so we want to make this look as fun and exciting as we can to try to connect to our parents and our kids. So we're gonna delete that one, we don't like it. So the very first thing I do is I try to figure out how many buttons I'm gonna make that will go across my Google site. So for right now, we're just gonna do two. And you have the option of going to Google search just like we always do in grabbing a picture that you like, okay? So let's go to a new tab and go to Class Dojo Images. And let's look for, let's just grab this one. We're gonna put it right there. And now we're gonna go back. So we already have our space ready for whatever image we are going to drop there. So let's drop our class dojo image. And you'll notice as soon as I drop it in there that it's a little cut off and that's okay. So we are going to press uncrop. We are gonna uncrop it. Now it's all better. It doesn't look cut off or weird. And I actually don't need this text box right here. So I am going to delete that. And a really fun fact is when you go to class dojo, and you sign into your teacher account, you can actually force the parents to go directly to the parent portal. So I will show you how to do that. So I am going to go to my 5D class, invite parents, class invites, copy link. And now I'm gonna go back. I am going to click on class dojo, the image that I put here. I'm going to link, command V, apply. So now what I like to do is every time I do something on my page, I like to preview it to see if it looks how I want it to look. So I'm gonna click the preview button. I'm going to scroll down. And what I'm clicking is to make sure that this takes the parents to the parent portal of Class Dojo. So I'm gonna click on it. And now if it, is correct, it should force them to either log in or sign up and on the parent side. So here it is, this is my class. They can log in or they can sign up, whichever one. If they are signing up for the first time, you will get a notification to your phone or to your email saying that a parent is trying to sign up. Is this kid connected to this parent? So you will have that choice. So if you decide that you don't like it, which happens to me all the time. I put something on here and I do not like it. You can just click it and press the delete tile and now it is gone. And I'm just gonna go ahead and delete the whole section because I don't need that section there anymore. And so I do that for any image that I'm putting on here. So you'll notice that I have, um, let's do the school website. So if you clicked on the school website, it will take you to the school website, which is our Bush website. And then also if you clicked on the district website, it will take you to the district website. So I honestly am just finding the websites that I want, clicking it, command C, and then I go back and just put it right in there. So that is it for this clip. Thank you so much for joining.